this enemy, if I'm not mistaken, can only attack one of your guys at a time, with the exception of one of his attacks where he bashes your character's heads together. Now, with this enemy, when you attack him, if you miss on any of your hits on your addition, then he will counter you, and it, the counter is quite powerful. Like, seriously powerful. So you want to make sure you don't miss. By using the, the single edition, like I am here, it makes it a lot easier, but you do less damage. In this case, I'm using this simply because I... Uh, I am leveling those additions up. That's all. Cool. He goes R when he does a defense. Yes. Hello, BB Tacos. Yes, that's exactly what you should do, Nanaha. You you should uh, you should distract me so much. And I'm playing on PS3. Uh, here's my PS3 controller, in case you weren't sure. I'm playing it on a PS3. There's going to be a lot of defending in this. In this fight, from my head so that I can get myself healed up. This is where he starts being able to attack both of your characters at the same time. Here we go. Um, not really, because it's hardware emulation. It's not software emulation. And it's official hardware. I might have to use that healing breeze. Yep. I don't know why they did that, Dave. I thought they had a chip in it, like just a small chip, which processed the PlayStation 1 emulation. I, I know about the PS2 uh, being hardware emulation. But I I'm, I'm, could have sworn that the PlayStation 1 was it not like the full PlayStation 1 hardware um, 
but I thought they did have a chip in them. If I'm wrong, I'm mistaken. Oh well. Now, I think I would have used Double Slash and the Harpoon enough by the end of this fight that maybe not Harpoon from the amount that the Vista team are defending. But I think by the end of this fight, at least one of them would be at this level. It's something for us to look at, I guess. It could be that we're both right, and on some some models it's um, it's hardware, and some models it's software. Because I thought the reason why they kept that in on all the PlayStation 3s is because it was really cheap for them to keep in and didn't take up any space. The reason why they took the PS2 one out was because it actually took them some, took up quite a bit of space in the case, and um, and it was expensive for them to implement. Hey, I've never claimed to be right about everything. I'm not having any latency issues with this game. I know that people have problems playing some PlayStation 1 games on the PS3. Jeez, Levitz, will you stop hurting yourself so much? Congo really doesn't like Levitz. Skittles? What flavour Skittles? I have some wild berry flavour Skittles. I like Skittles. When this fight ends, watch how it ends. Nom 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 nom. Remember with Eroboros, or Eurobulus, as it was mis incorrectly translated. Remember how Dart ran up the enemy and slashed its head. That's how most boss fights work, as you can see here. Didn't quite work as bad as you can see. Where we get our first dragoons. You 
you're making you eat all my skitters. Why do you say it's the worst character in the game? I don't think so. I think Meru and Rose are my favourite team to use. Rod Typhoon is the one that I was forgetting the name of. You know what I would like to see? A fight between Rose and Kane. The reason why I say Rose is because she wears dark blue, which is almost purple-like. So I would love to see one. Actually, no, Levitz! Levitz versus Kane, because they both use spears. Dragoon versus Dragoon. <laughs> That's true. He's got like no magic defense. Oh, I didn't know that, Dave. I did see you mention it earlier though. No, Kane from Final Fantasy 4. Kane Highwind. Because he's a dragoon. So we'll see who's better, which type of dragoon. Dragoon that can jump really high? Or a dragoon which can cast magic and fly and... Yeah. I reckon Kane would win. Because I, I just reckon Kane is a better fighter. Look at Rose's body just moving back and forth. Her arms and legs and head are fine, but her, her body just moves back and forth. That's true, he does. I reckon Kane would win the fight. Kane knows how to tame dragons, so the fact that Levitz or any of the other dragons in this game can fly, I reckon Kane would win.
I'm not doubting that your bag is bigger. Yeah. Okay. Is this going to be a size war with with Skittles now? Am I going to have to buy an even bigger bag tomorrow? Is that what it is? You mean Porum? I agree there. Quick fun fact about Porum. Um, their names were supposed to be Palum and Polum. Not Palum and Porum. No, you said Parum. Like you've typed there. Porum. P-O-R-O-M. It's not P-A-R-O-M. It's P-O-R-O-M. Yes, I am. So, a fun fact about Porum is his name was supposed to be Polum. It was supposed to be Palum and Polum, which is why the city in Final Fantasy XIII is called Palum Polum. That is the actual name that was supposed to be for Palum and Porum. It was Palum and Polum. Hence the city Palum Polum. Just a fun little fact there. If you wanted me to be really pedantic about spelling, the way you typed O there was wrong. It should be O-H, not O. <laughs> yeah, Palampolum is a city in Final Fantasy XIII. I'm not sure if I can get a bag that big, to be honest. Um, I did hear that Fang was originally supposed to be a, a male. Which is probably why Fang and Vanille have the type of relationship they have. I still stand by my, my opinion that Fang and Vanille are a couple. I doubt that Square will openly admit that they are a couple, but I reckon they are. You look at how they act through the games. They... They're all... They're so protective of each other. They always want to be with each other as well. I reckon they're a couple, not just very close friends. I reckon they are a genuine couple. I'm not sure what the biggest bag I could easily get hold of. Um, we have share bags as they're called, but I don't think they're that that big. How big did you say? 1.5 kilograms or something like that? Or did I misread what you wrote? Hmm. 
No, Dave. We've gone through this before. Final Fantasy XIV has already been released. It is on PlayStation 3 and PC. Dave, sorry about this. I, Guys, I just need to go fetch something to prove to Dave that Final Fantasy XIV already exists. Hold on one moment. Okay, Dave, look here. This is Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. As you can see, it's the PS3 version, Collector's Edition, okay? It exists. I have it. It is also out on PC. Here, PC version, Final Fantasy XIV Collector's Edition. It exists in two, on two consoles. The one coming out on the PS4 is the same game. It's just being released on a newer console. And yes, I do have two collector's edition of the same game, okay? So what? The 1.16 kilograms, okay. I'm gonna see if I can find one of that size. And yes, they did they did um, remake the game from scratch. The story in Final Fantasy XIV, as far as I'm aware, is the same as Re A Realm Reborn. They've just remade the game. Yeah, I'm getting the PS4 version as well, but I won't be getting the PS4 Collector's Edition. I think two Collector's Editions are enough. Way later on, don't give, don't post any spoilers, guys. But I will give a hint now that way later on, you will find out why Rose is used to being hated. No, they have no relevance to Final Fantasy XIII's story. Absolutely no relevance. There are Final Fantasy XIV elements in XIII in the form of a costume and weapons, but that's it. Lightning didn't visit it in an event, did she? Which event did she visit at? Oh, 
Oh, are you talking about an event in Final Fantasy XIV? Or in 13. I haven't finished the main campaign of 14, so don't give me spoilers, please. Oh, you're talking about the promotional events for the game. I thought you meant, like, in the games somewhere. Like, story-based. Sorry, Shana, but you're you're coming out of the party. Additions. Okay, he's very close to getting level 5. He's not very close, but he's almost there. And Rose is obviously nowhere without Whip Smack. I'm pretty sure it's over. The reason why she's out of the party is because she doesn't have additions. There's no use having her in the party because she can't improve on her additions. And, and at this point, she is now useless to me in battle. Later on, she will become useful, but for now, she's not useful at all. This is a tutorial battle. And I don't want to learn anything. I'll go through this myself with you, rather than going through all the tutorials to learn it. You know, I thought that might be the case when I, back in the day when I played this. I thought maybe the reason why she doesn't have additions is because I don't use her enough. Welcome back, Lord.
Right then. I'm going to save here after making sure I've got the right people in my party. And making sure that they're all armed as I want them to be. Um, yeah, let's give him the power wrist. That's true. 